Good morning, guys. Hello. My name is Kyla Bonia. Welcome if you guys are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today is a productive morning in my life. I just woke up and I just remembered that I've shared my night dream routine a couple times and you guys don't know what my daytime routine is. So, I figured I'd just deal with you because I'm obnoxious like that. Going in with the moon toothpaste, Avi. This is a stain remover, fluoride free whitening one. I just woke up and I got one of those like dressing tables, like dressing benches, I'll show you guys. So I was on the edge of my bed and I feel so bougie. Like my just bedroom feels so bougie now. I've just been like, every day when I wake up now, I just feel a little bit better and I really like that. Like, I don't know, sometimes after a while, these habits do get kind of lost. And like, for me especially, like, I find it very hard to keep up. And it's like, that's something, like, you just gotta keep up. This is my Indie Lee cleanser. I love this stuff, I swear by it. This is their brightening formula, not their purity one, by the way. Like, right now, like, waking up and just doing my routine, is one of the best parts of my day because it just like jump starts me so well and then I just feel so much more proactive and so much more into it and then I just feel ready for the day and that's like the best part for me this is the HA BHA PHA 30 day miracle toner from some um, I was so excited when I got this I actually found it at Walmart but it's basically like an exfoliating toner Compared to the one I use at night, which is a hydrating toner. I use this in the daytime just because I don't want to mix retinol with, um, like you just don't need to use an exfoliator that much. Then going in with the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. I love this stuff. So good and it's so cheap. It's like $12. And Hyaluronic Acid basically just hydrates the skin. Like it's such a, it's such a benefit. You just do it when the skin is like partially wet. So what I do is after my toner, I just spray my face with like a hair sprayer or a spray bottle, just full of water. And it's so nice and easy. Fan for 30 seconds. In the daytime, I go in with this Coco Kind eye cream. This is their rejuvenating eye cream. When I originally bought this, it had like a metal ball on the top. So you could like go like that. But after like a week of using it, it broke off. Which for me doesn't really matter because I have a separate little metal ball eye tool that I use. It just helps like deep puff and smooth in. But it's like, I was like, I was a little shook if. But this is also like a $20 eye cream. So it's, it's nice for what it is. I do like how thick it is. That's a really nice benefit to it. I very much enjoy it. I have my own little really ball. <laughs> so I've been adding this into my skincare routine and I probably shouldn't be because it is a lot of exfoliating, but I really like the way this makes my skin feel. This is the Good Jeans Lactic Acid from Sunday Riley. I really love this stuff. It's a really beautiful consistency and it makes my skin so soft. A lactic acid, again, is kind of just like a chemical exfoliator. Clarins Double Serum. My Beacon Bloom Cream, my Essential, if you ask me. I absolutely enjoy this stuff so much, as you guys probably already know. But I just love it. It's so good. It's so milky and hydrating. Ugh. Last but not least, in the daytime, I'm using our sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Ultra, Fear, Ultra Sheer Face Serum in 60 SPF, and it has vitamin E. Which, love that for her. I love a sunscreen serum because it's always just a nice way to end my skincare routine in the daytime. And it's always making sure I'm wearing sunscreen whether I'm wearing makeup that day or not. Cause like, nine times out of 10, if I don't use a serum, if I don't sit down and do my makeup, there's like a, a percentage that I won't sit down and even put on sunscreen. And that's nerve-wracking to me. My Obdescu spray. 
skincare routine is done. Let's head to the bedroom so that we can beat this face up. We are officially at the vanity. And we're, I'm so excited. We're going to get ready for work. We're going to have the best day ever. It's going to be amazing. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter in the Ultra Glow Primer. Um, Kenneth is in the way. I'm so sorry. He just wants to be involved very badly. And I love that about him. He knows what he wants. And it's hanging out with us. Which, if you'd asked me, I think is a good decision. So this is the primer I'm going in with. I really like this primer because it's like one of those sticky primers. So it's a little bit more heavy duty. I really love this primer too. I love the glow it gives. I love a good like dewy moment. Like anything that gives me that like pop, that glow, I live for it. It's iconic. It's occurred to me that I have yet to talk about this, the About Face Foundation yet. I really like it. I like the coverage it gives. Personally, the color I got is just like a little too dark. So I personally have to mix it with this Hocus Focus, this old soap and glory, like white pigment almost. And just to fix it, but I like it. I think it looks really great. It looks really natural. And I really like the coverage and the feel of it. You guys can experience how this is like, like love her. She's just like a little too dark. But I'm not mad about it. Once anything is fixable, it's whatever for me. Like, as long as I can fix it, I can work with it. It's just very, like, yellowy, orangey on my skin. I'm starting to get really nervous because I love these drops. And I'm almost out of it. And these are discontinued. So I'm starting to get a little nervous that I'm not going to be able to find them. And that would honestly be really devastating. This foundation for me just requires a lot of blending. But other than that, it's really nice and easy. And I really like it. I think their shade range is really beautiful. They have a lot of different shades. And for me, you know, let's just mark it up to user error. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Once I blend it in and, like, get it worked in, it looks great. Which is another reason why I'm like, yeah, I don't mind the extra work because I really like it. And every time I wear this foundation, I get complimented. I've honestly, the last couple, like, months, I feel like I've taken a step back from, like, waking up and getting ready and, like, doing my makeup. And honestly, I really miss doing my makeup. I do. I love to do my makeup. And I truly missed it. So we are doing my makeup again. Because... I love me, and I love to feel great, and I love to look great, and I love that, that that makes me so happy. I think that's so important. Today, we're feeling a little bit more full coverage, so we're going to go in with the shape tape. I really like it. Like, it's fun. Like, shape tape, I had shape tape. When it was, like, all the rage, I was like, I need this. And I feel like, I remember it being, like, 27 bucks, $26. Now it's, like, 31 the economy is wild. Just goes up and up and up and up and up. This is a Morphe concealer brush. This is in M173. I really love this brush. Pro tip, anytime you like do concealer, you should like blend it upwards. So it's going to give you this like sharp angle and it just makes you look a little bit more snatched. I love to blend everything with a, that, like this goes for pretty much everything for me. I really like to blend things with a brush first and then go in with a beauty blender. And personally, it just like double blends. I was raised in the 2016 era. I am a 2016 beauty guru child. Like, I, for me, it's, it's trauma, you know? I'm like, I'd rather double blend than not blend at all. And especially when you do your skincare right before your makeup, I think it makes your makeup look even more better. Like, even better. Because, let's be honest, like, I know it's hard. Like, I don't have great skin. But the better your skin is, the better your makeup sits on it. Like, let's be honest. So, like, I try my best to take care of my skin. And I love my skin so much. So, it's very important for me. This is the Morphe Setting Powder in the Bright Pink. I love this stuff. So good. I really like the bright pink one. All it's going to do is literally brighten, and I love it. And I think the texture of this stuff is 
Oh, this is really good. So, you guys want to hear my sucker story? At Walmart, they had like clearance bins and makeup, and I was like, ooh, like I just have to look. So, this is the bronzer I've been using for forever, the butter bronzer. This is in Sun Kissed Bronze. Forever, I've been using this. Hard Candy had one that's called Instant Summer, and it was like three bucks. I was like, I have to get it. So I bought it, and it's in shade tan, and I'm a little nervous. This is more matte, where the other one's a little bit more shimmery. I think I'm gonna go for it. If today's the day, you know, let's just do it. Just gonna go in with this sharper brush so that I can do my nose. Do I hate that bronzer? No, not at all. Do I feel a little extra sculpted? Yes, I feel very extra sculpted. You know, I think with a heavy hand, that guy, I think with a heavy hand, that guy could have been very dangerous. I think it ended great, but could have been very dangerous. Um, I've been a little bored lately, so I want to do an eyeshadow look. And I haven't done one in a while. So nervous about time today. I'm like, time this, time that. And I'm like, it's 11 o'clock. I don't have to leave for another hour. I'm doing great. Oh, I just love to take my time and just look and feel beautiful. I think that's the important thing. It's just reminding myself that I want to take time for me, especially in the morning. Like, if I don't start my day off right, it's it's probably over. This is just the e.l.f. putty primer on my eyelids. This uh, eye primer has gone from, like, a cult favorite to now it's kind of just my eye primer. <laughs> just because I still have so much. I do still really like the weight of this, and I still really like it. I saw this look the other day that was just like one obnoxious glittery shadow and then there was like nothing else and I kind of liked it and I like kind of want to do that but I think I should have a little bit something else so I have a vision okay guys this is the Maddie Ziegler palette from Morphe and this is number five it's like this obnoxiously pastel blue we live for it and I'm just going to do that on the outside. It almost comes off kind of like green. And I kind of love that. Just a reminder, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just somebody who works in the beauty industry. I also just like, like to have fun. Like that's the bit about makeup is it's specifically to have fun. Skincare too, it's like, yes, it's helping your skin. But if you're not having fun while you're doing it, what's the point? L like, literally, what's the point? I also think it's really funny because I, I literally never do blue eyeshadow. I just think it's funny because I, like, never wear blue. And I feel like today isn't a blue day, but I kind of love it. I like blue, and I think it makes me pop really well. So that's why another reason I wear blue. Now, this is the color I actually wanted to use today. It is in this Rivera palette from ABH. See Chels? It's like this sparkly, obnoxious blue. And I'm just beyond excited. Ugh, I think we're just gonna straight finger dip. Are you guys, are you guys ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I look like I can annoy a lot of old people today. Doesn't really need more to pop cause like, let's be honest, this is popping. But I do wanna do we're gonna brush off all that powder from our under eyes. I like to blend it in as I'm brushing it off. I'm then just gonna take my white jumbo pencil and just have like a little bit of a corner moment, like literally nothing crazy. I'm then just gonna like blend everything because this bronzer is making me look so tan. And it's making me look a little nervous. It's making me feel a little nervous. Also just going in with clear brow gel on my brows. We are going in with the ColourPop Swirled. I love this blush. You guys have probably seen me use it at least a thousand times. Over that blush, I am going in with NARS. This is in Super Orgasm. This is literally an old color that I don't even think they make anymore, which is Trey Tragic because the other orgasm that they make, not the original. There's another one. I don't really love it. It's just not like pink. It's not like this. Like this is just iconic. I'm then just gonna go in with some setting spray just to set this bad boy. Also just wets it enough so for us to go in with our highlight. 
This is the Lottie London Diamond Dust. Today, I'm going to go in with the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Just because I've been using this for so long, I feel like I have a lot more control over it than the Kylash. The Kylash, I'm like, I feel like I'm still a little willy-nilly with. This is so... I just feel like I look great now, and that makes me feel great. Okay, guys. The outfit is officially outfitting. So I have on that H&M dress that I thrifted some savers. And super cute. I also have on these like black tights and then the Nine West kitten heels. Also, this is the bench that I thrifted. So I'm very proud of myself. So actually fun story. I'm actually now late for work. So I have to go. But I love you all so much. And I hope you enjoyed this proactive and productive morning with me. I love you and I will see you all next week. Bye.